Oh boy. Oh boy. Anthony oh, Boy Tano, Tano here, here, the internet's busiest music nerd! And it's time for a review of the new Judas Priest album, Firepower! How is this possible? How, how, is, th how is this happening right now? What, what the hell is this? Judas Priest, one of the longest running bands in the history of metal, 18 albums, Almost 50 years as a band, they've literally just dropped one of the best heavy metal albums of the decade, one of the better records of their career. I mean, I guess it's not too improbable given that the band has, has pretty much consistently released music since their inception. It really is a testament to the idea of keep on keeping on. And I guess it's not that uncommon for some of the original acts in heavy metal to have a, a late era album or two that is uh, fantastic. I mean, Priest themselves did it after 20 years as a band with Painkiller in 1990. Maiden did it in 2000 with Brave New World. Great album, easily one of their best. And uh, Motorhead as well had a good run in the 2000s with Motorizer and Inferno and Kiss of Death. Also the band Accept in 2010 with Blood of Nations. And there's also newer acts out there such as Ghost that in a lot of ways have kind of brought back a somewhat old school heavy metal songwriting style, an old school heavy metal vibe, sound, energy. Not to mention there have been a handful of groups like Satan and Hell who were originally writing music years ago but have reformed to a newer, younger audience that have been enjoying the old school heavy metal sound, who enjoy hearing songwriting and melody and devilish camp come back to the forefront in the metal genre. And priests bring all of that back and more with this record that just sounds like a full throttle revitalization of that heavy metal aesthetic. Even the cover art on this thing calls back to that sleek, metallic, murderous aesthetic that was on the front of so many Priest albums back in the day. Also, the guitarist of the previously mentioned band Hell uh, has a hand in some of the production on this record. Andy Sneap, and also on production with this record, is Tom Allum, a longtime producer who the last time he was producing with Priest was, uh, what I believe, the, the late 80s? I mean, you're kind of talking about a guy here who helped the band craft their classic sound. The throttling guitar riffs, the dueling solos, the epic theatrical vocals, vocal performances, all the anthemic and soaring vocal and guitar melodies. I mean, Firepower is pretty much Judas Priest as they have been known and loved, but maybe just a little bit heavier, more vibrant, chunkier this time around. I mean, if there's one thing that makes this album stick out to me amongst the rest of Priest's discography, it's that there are these really interesting vocal passages on here, vocal layers that sound really cartoonish and uh, demonic, really sinister. I mean, sometimes it sounds like I'm listening to a, a chorus of vocally trained demons uh, all singing in unison or just like cackling or providing just like some weird uh, evil color in the background of these songs. It's pretty menacing and adds a lot to this very explosive heavy metal music. I mean, we're almost talking merciful fate levels of, of theatrics here. I mean, the sound, the production on this album, the performances as well, they're excellent. They're they're near flawless. I mean, maybe what's here isn't quite as flashy and intense as some of Priest's records in the past that have uh, been more on the speed metal side of the spectrum, but the vibe of this album for me is just near flawless. It sounds and feels great. However, for me, the real draw of the album, what really keeps me coming back to it, is just the quality songwriting. I mean, not only are Priest sounding better than ever, but they are delivering some of their best material to date. There's so many tracks on this thing that have multiple phases to them, verses, pre-choruses, choruses, bridges, solo passages. I mean, the songs on this thing are really well built. They have great progressions, great flow. And each one of them is packed with these glorious, triumphant, dark guitar riffs and leads that have some real bite to them. Sometimes the guitar work on this album can be really exciting, sometimes really foreboding. But the most stunning thing maybe on this entire album are Rob Halford's vocals, which are just excellent. The dude sounds better than ever. I mean, nearly every singer in the heavy metal genre that was one of his contemporaries 
have obviously changed vocally over the years. Maybe not quite what they were, but honestly, I, I cannot say that about Rob Halford at all on this record. I cannot. There's like literally nothing vocally on this album that I have a problem with. There's nothing literally vocally on this record I feel is out of place. I feel like is not, not quite what it used to be. If anything, over the years, his voice has, has shown more character because some of his singing on this thing is just, is downright diabolical. On the title track, as he's singing about the futility of fighting for peace and the demise of man in war, he sounds so commanding and authoritative. On Evil Never Dies, he's singing about the eternity of evil itself, uh, about how the devil still lives down in Georgia. I love that song reference there, and he just sounds evil himself on this track. He sounds like the administrator of my eternal punishment in hell. Necromancer is one of the most brutal sounding tracks on the album just by guitars alone, but the track is literally Rob Halford singing about somebody bringing the dead back to life. Some of the cartoony weird background vocals get even stranger on this track as it sounds like a chorus of mutated zombies are singing along with the hook. The song Flamethrower features this kind of sassy, somewhat bluesy intro riff, but then goes right into this high octane heavy metal guitar work. Lyrically, the track reads like it's literally about being incinerated by a flamethrower and God, the hook. You're on the run from the stone of the flamethrower. The pre-chorus on this track is even better. Like, great build-ups on this song. Great ways to introduce the numerous passages of these tracks. Again, just like every song on here built out so well. Also on the track Lightning Strike as Halford is singing about peeling the skin off a demon's face. Now to balance some of these harder, faster, more aggressive tracks out, there's a good deal of very powerful, larger than life, more nuanced ballads like Never the Heroes or a Rising from Ruins. The song No Surrender, uh, the track Sea of Red that has a pretty extended a uh, little acoustic bit of instrumentation at the start of the track. Of course, that song being the softest of all of them here is the closer. Then there's the supremely eerie specter in the track list of this thing. If there's any real downside to this album, it's just that it sounds very predictable. If you've heard much of Judas Priest's late 70s, early 80s output, you know what's going on with this record. And then there were some tracks in the track listing here that to me didn't feel like they were exploring the band's original sound enough, not adding that much to it, nor were they showcasing as many interesting instrumental or vocal passages, uh, hard hooks. Tracks like Traitor's Gate and Children of the Sun and Lone Wolf. Still though, even those tracks are pretty listenable. I wouldn't really skip any of them immediately. And uh, overall, this is just a really exciting heavy metal album. So much so it just makes me want to throw my freaking horns up. Ah! Are you trying to say this album made you horny? No. N no. 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 Position, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe, and please don't cry. Just leave a thoughtful comment in the comments if you're feeling like you're full of thoughts. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Judas Priest, forever.